Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to this crazy week and uh, another episode of The Witcher 3. At this point, we're just booting into the game. I was like, starting the recording as the game boots up. Um, just for sanity's sake and consistency. Um off stream because I've already I've already streamed it uh, the I've started playing uh, Yakuza again Yakuza Zero Geralt ran into an old friend Kira Metz sorceress told the Witcher about a masked mage Siri had seemed to take him shelter in his hideout the Witcher set off to find it with Kira in tow Siri had never reached the elven mage yet the wild hunt had the ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. Um... I started playing through, uh, Yakuza 0 again, on PC. Because, uh, they had a... Uh... A deal where you could get Yakuza 0, Kiwami, and Kiwami 2 uh, for like 30 bucks. And I was like, fuck, Kiwami 2 is like $30 on PlayStation. So I bought that in preparation for streaming Kiwami 2. Um, but I started, like, I, <clears throat> I just kind of wanted to play Yakuza 0 again and start to actually go through more of those sub-stories. And it is so far, or it, ha it has so far been a lot of fun. I think that's what I want to do. Um, I'll have to do that at some point. None of those I'm at a good enough level for. Uh, actually, let's do it. Come on. Nope, oh, alright. Right. It's not Warthog's um, steering. I actually need to use WASD for that. Any last words? They actually decided to follow, huh? Fighting your guts, Go for the horse on eyes. Instead of fighting your dog, you fight. I'll just stay here. Hey, horse. Bye. Red ingredients for a missing transport using your Witcher sense. Soft roach. Betting it's probably something here. Come on, come on. There's a 
damn it. Need to remember how to play this, because I'm not playing... I'm not playing the normal games that... I have been. Bunch of death over here. Wide, heavy wheels, merchant's wagon. Yep, that's not what I want at all. Was this not where I just was? The backstabbing cowards have deserted Crow's Perch and now prowl these lands in small bands of few yellow-bellied cutthroats each. Uh, travelers passing through, keep on your guard. something that I need to examine here? Or is it just moving with me? Might be moving with me. Yep. That's okay. I'll just ignore them. Yeah, merchant traveling across Velen alone. No way that was gonna end well. of meat. Cataplepus. Wonder what spell requires that. Package still intact. Don't sense anything magic though. Wonder how Kira will explain this one. And a quickly. Uh you are necrophage. Approach. Uh, is there another? Keep hitting escape. Um, quests. So that's that one. The rest of them look to be level seven. Do that. Come on, Roach. Nope, that way. Come on. Nah, that's that's K. Excuse me.
Oh, right. That was one that I've already done. That's it, Roach. No. This game still looks good. Yeah, I was running uh, when I'm playing um, Yakuza Zero. It's um, you can set it to where it forces you to, or you can set the refresh rate. It's like that's awesome. It becomes super useful. God damn it. Excuse me. Um, because yeah, no, I'm watch. I'm playing through Yakuza Zero in 144 hertz, and I'm like, just yes, give me, give me what my monitor can support. I also didn't realize how far this was. This is kind of fucked up. Like, with how many people have, are hanged. Go, We're getting go. close. Yep, we've done this already. Right, it's like ghouls are necrophage, right? Yeah, ghouls are necrophage. very different now that it's like daytime. that one. I knew that was coming in as an attack. Ow.
piss off when you've still got legs. And bollocks. Cool as a bandit, too, huh? Doing too hot in terms of health. Beware the goons. Yep, there it went. Boom. Package still intact. Don't sense anything magic, though. Wonder how Kira will explain this one. Why are we... Okay, fucking stop. Fuck, that was a long ride. Why not? Oh, do I have to go to a signpost first? Get off a roach. Okay. That does seem to be the case. So I need to go find a post to fast travel to a post. Please climb on Roach. Please climb on Roach, thank you. Go, go. <laughs> Fuck off, bandits.
long you're gonna make me wait. What is it? Got work for you, because you look to me eyes like a witcher. Come on. What do you need? Need for my men to finish their work unharmed. Deal. Did I not do that beforehand? I don't I don't understand this mission unless it's because I'm not done yet. Just, I, I don't do well in apparently that sort of fight. I guess we're still not doing that mission. Okay, so we are here now. Where does this take us? Okay. Roach. Run, Roach. Come on. Now. Go, go. Yoink. Hmm. 
Taking all your shit. What's there? You should close this, it's kind of dangerous. Geralt, just when I was starting to miss you. Got those, uh, substances you wanted? Splendid. I can finally begin my study of double arboreal racination patterns. But first, I'll... Brew yourself a mug of mulled wine? Saw what the wagon was carrying. Exquisite meats, expensive wines, Zeracanian spices. Not a speck of magic. Care to tell me what you're up to? I would rather show you. But you must wait a bit. Fine. Color me intrigued. Fine, I'll wait. <laughs> then shoo, outside. Gonna slip into something more comfortable? Later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, go on, out. You've been patient, thank you. It's almost ready. Huh? If I wanted to see white mice, I'd just get drunk. Note that I said almost. Now don't interrupt. The king within capable. What happened to the third mouse? Third mouse? What happened to it? The spell has a 66.67% chance of success. I always use one more than I need, just in case. So where did... Kira, can I explain what's going on here? Know the fairy tale about Cinderella? Mm-hmm. True story it's based on, too. A zoogle cropped up in a palace pond and ate Princess Cinderella whole. Left behind one slipper, so... I beg you, not another word about zoogles. Now, to return to the fairy tale, I'd like to escape these ghastly swamps for one magical night. I don't need a fairy godmother, I'll cast the spells myself. But I could use a Prince Charming. It just so happens you're the only decent candidate in all Velen. So, what do you say to a moonlight ride on horseback? And dinner? <laughs> I'm a witcher, not a gigolo. Fuck Sounds yeah. Sounds tempting. So tempting, I don't think I can refuse. Before we go, there's one more thing. Uh-oh. Gonna transform a pumpkin into a carriage? No. I shall transform our rancid rags into something more glamorous. Don't wince. It'll only be an illusion, won't hurt a bit. And at dawn, everything will return to normal. All right. Why not? Might as well go all out. Then hold on tight. Gavella Glan. So, what do you think? Neckline too modest? It's just right. Oh, I might also have changed your hair color while I was at it. I've always fancied dark-haired men. Oh well, any port in a storm. Well, off we go. Dinner's waiting. Lark What's that supposed to dishes. mean? Time to race! Move. Cinderella, we'll have a great fall. <laughs> as fast as you can, try to catch me. 
This horse's stamina doesn't last long. This is weird. I thought you were better horseman. For the record, I was riding a mouse. For someone who usually trots around on a roach, that shouldn't present a challenge. Now do you What's see that supposed where to I mean? those substances? Sure. Beef and cinnamon and cloves, roasted capon with shallots. It was worth the trouble. Shall I pour the white or the dry red? But let it breathe a little first. I'm a well, man of well, culture. Thank you for a wine connoisseur. Think witches suck the marrow out of drowner bones and wash it down with puddle water? More or less. Well, we've chatted long enough on empty stomachs. Let's dig in. Must have cost you a small fortune. Sure you don't need me to pitch in? Please, I manage. You know, a dozen eggs here, a cock or gander there. Besides, my finances are about to improve. All right, I'm curious. We celebrating something? Yes, a return to the living. But that's not what I wish to discuss. Thank you once again, Geralt, for your help with the tower. You were fabulous. Not Always. The first curse I've lifted. But among the most difficult, correct? What happened on that island? Why I shiver at the thought. And the laboratory. I sincerely hope you burnt everything. The cages, the corpses, the papers. Hope. I thought we came here to make love. Didn't destroy that workshop, if that's what you're asking. Didn't see any reason to. If Alexander's findings were to fall into the wrong hands... Not my problem. Although, Fikile has a terrible reputation. None even dare go there. Perhaps there's nothing to worry about. Until there is. <laughs> Sorry. Such a gloomy subject to broach. I simply shouldn't have, not during our romantic dinner. Romantic? Thought we came here as friends. And to bone. With benefit. There you go. So? Don't have to ask me twice. Your fairy tale, your rules. Really? Then close your eyes and count to ten. Before we get to, <laughs> too far down the road. <coughs> ah, there we go. One, two, three, four. All right, that's enough. All right, never mind. Kira, want to play hide and seek? Why not? All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But first, this. Skirt. Guess we're playing hunt the hare, not hide and seek. Good. Won't have to fumble with fasteners. Hmm. Shame. Could have kept her shoes on. Uh, now where's that Cinderella gone to? Don't worry, if it's not anything bad, I'll undo the the sensor. I have a feeling though it's it, mm. found me. Congratulations. Do I get a prize? I have nothing on me. But I'll think of something. <laughs> yep, nope, good thing I did. <laughs> oh. 
See, this might be worse without sound, or w with sound and no uh, video. You know what they call that constellation in Zeracania? Here, I think we can do that now. Dragons. I think we're safe. <laughs> no, it has a different name, but indecent, actually. Lean closer, and I'll whisper it in your ear. I want to fuck okay. again. Oh, boo. Kira, where? Put me to sleep with a spell. Means she's up to something. <sighs> Fike Isle, the tower. That was a, uh, quest completed, uh, boning. The boning cl clock. Jesus, okay, there's a lot of shit that's popping up. I don't have boots on! Hmm. Did she steal my boots? Okay, cool. I've got the ability to repair now. There we go. All right. What do I need now? Um... Do I want to do the race? I don't think I. Eh. I'm level six. I'm getting close to level seven, which is nice. So I might just do this now. Yeah. Where's the nearest? Ooh, actually, I'll just head to here. Place. Marker. Actually, let's go there. Roach. I just had another one night stand. Why do people not love me? Not because my hair is white, is it? Give me up. No. Go. Not so fast, Roach. Come on. Uh. Excuse me. Oh boy. You know what, Roach? I'll just call you on the other side. Trouble. Oh, man. You know what's not good? I think th I'm at the closest. Technically, this might be closer because I think I have to come up and around that way anyway. Or, now that I think about it, I could come to here and sail across. That might be what I do.
Take it easy. Wolves will tear it to pieces. Now we're fine. We sure as fuck ain't stopping. There's a boat right there. Browner? Skirt! There's so many enemies here. can't come in here apparently god damn fights like that because everyone's coming at you as you know would make sense in a fight I just can't get plus they're all powerful I don't know you know what Fuck you. Fuck you. I'll come over this way. Slow now. Whoa. Oh, there's a path there.
Hold on, let me fucking look at it. Oh, unless you're having me actually just follow it. Oh, wonder if it's got something to do with here. Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped the skin off clean. Laughed and said, How tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three. Want to fetch the kindlings? Thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You look like a witch yourself. The w w witches of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zemek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. He could still come back. What are you doing out here alone? He's not alone. He's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tits. They do. I heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, I them lassies in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How do you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shot. Watch your language. They tell tales She's really and really loud. Nor but tales. You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. Are you a witch? Are you one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Witch? Me? <laughs> Nay. I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose. See? Gran's got a lovely beak. Oh, you darling girl. Oh, kids are so sweet. She called it a beak. Just talking to the kids. Asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, it was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. Your betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter, and her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm? A bit of help, please. A young, ashen-haired woman. Just need to know if you've seen her. 
What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, because I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone! Leap. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And and stranger still kids. Just got one question for you. Don't be asking no questions. You're a stranger. Not allowed to talk to strangers. Can we eat now? Suit with scratchings. You here? Says he's afraid of you. Stop scaring my kids. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails, yuck. Does your gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Says strangers might take us, and we'll disappear. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so, and Gran knows lots. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you gotta do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. All right. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. I'm a witcher, though. One, two, three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. Use your witcher sense. All right, all right, all right. There you are. How'd you find me? I'll admit, I cheated a little. Alright, here's a new set of tracks. Oh, hello. See you. That was actually a pretty good hiding spot. Oh, new scent.
sleep. Found you. You can stop hiding. No fair. I'm supposed to win. Give me a new scent. I will hunt you down. Oh, found you. Starting here. Found you. You're the last one. Bet you cheated. Come to the cottage. I, I did. The others. I'll I admit. Won. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promise, didn't we? Gran! Gran! Bumblebee bit Yagner in the arse! Gran! Come! Let's go. Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, he saw his burrow. But Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. Where are you and your friend's parents? Dead. Some starved. Others were killed. Like mine. One day, we went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells. Then, laughing, went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled, and the soldiers laughed. Leave my pot down by the bird door. Is it clean off? I left my mum. It's all right. That's enough. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy. His gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There's a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. Time to get the fuck out of here before Gran comes back. What are you on about? Who said us? Eh? Bye.
that. Okay, here we go. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. Wow, fucking... Wow, that health comes back super slowly. Tracks lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. Let's find out. Maybe. Johnny? Fuck, okay. Don't be afraid. You're a bucka? A lutin? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? This where you live? Cozy Burrow. Good location. Must know about everything that happens in the bog. Doesn't bother you having monsters for neighbors? Kids from the clearing well? Don't be afraid. Not gonna hurt anyone. What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. Mm. Oh, defeat the monsters. Great. All right. Damn it.
Again, I hate it when there's a like a weird disconnect between walking speeds. This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. Alright. And I guess we'll make that climb in the next episode. So for those of you who are watching on YouTube, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Blurry Phoenix. And game on.